Hello, this is Big G Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. Last time, well, Rosh and Sonya were having some kind of problem with each other. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but we did get the Red Letter Day side quest, and, well, we want to help them out. So, let's see. Yeah, in order to resolve the problem, we need to go back to the beginning note here. Because, well, now it's too late to ask Rosh about that. So, yeah, we gotta go back to before we signed up for, well, either his brigade or staying with Heist in order to advance the side quest here. Man, we got a lot of side quests last time. Holy cow! And we're only gonna be able to handle a couple of them for now. Oh. Well, yeah, this is about, I would imagine this is about when their birthdays were. What's going on, Stock? How's it going? Why have you been avoiding Sonya lately? Huh? What are you saying? That was rather direct, Stock. Sonya's worried that she's done something to offend you. What happened? There's nothing, really. Did she offend you that badly? Evidently. No, she didn't do anything wrong. It's not her. It's me. It's all me. Who do you think you are, George Costanza? I'm listening. Uh, I was under the impression you liked her. Was I mistaken? No, you're not wrong. Not at all. Actually, that's the problem. What do you mean? You know, ever since her brother died, she treated me as a brother. I thought I owed him something. That's why I looked after her. Like she was my own sister. Great, you got trapped in the friend zone. I see. But I can't keep doing it. Better than being trapped in the suck zone. If it was anybody else, I could make a gift and put all my heart into it. But if she's looking at me like a brother, something just isn't right. Oh, um, yeah, maybe. Damn it, give me a break. I can't go on playing her brother forever. I just can't. Okay. Not sure what the problem is there. Now look at what you've done, Stock. Sonya. Damn. This is your fault, Stock. Why'd you bring it up? Well, she told me to. No, perhaps this is right. I couldn't run from her forever. She had to find out someday. <laughs> now I can concentrate on battle. Well, you seemed to do pretty good the last time. At least at the mine, anyway. Why'd the music suddenly fade out like that? Hmm. Well, let, let me, uh, take care of her. Rosh isn't interested, clearly. You seem determined to end things between you and Sonya. If you won't take care of her, then I will. What do you mean by that, Stock? Don't answer that, viewers. Oh, Stock. How's it going? I don't know what happened between you, your brother, and Rosh, but you shouldn't chain yourself to the past. The same goes for him. <laughs> you always get right to the point, Stock. Well, yeah, he is a JRPG protagonist. Rather blunt. But I understand what you're saying. I'm crushed. But if Rosh wants to leave me because he thinks it will help me, then I have to accept it. So, what, is this some kind of romantic relationship? Stock, have I already fallen out of love with Rosh? <laughs> well, that was quick to answer my question. <laughs> I really couldn't say. Yeah, Stock probably isn't the best person to ask for relationship advice. Oh, well, yeah, that is the general idea. Both literally and figuratively.
So, oh, I was gonna say, wouldn't that be good for us in the world? Well, what about stock? Well, stock the ladies, man, brings an end to the world. Great job, stock. Really? Welcome back, stock. Giving bad relationship advice? Brought the world to an end? I didn't expect to completely lose my friendship with Rosh. Ah. I never realized how much Sonya meant to him. That's right. But, Stock, I don't understand what happened to cause these events. I, I don't either. Could you explain to me what all that was about? If you can't see it, then you're not ready. You'll understand when the time comes. <laughs> Using my own words against me. Well played. <laughs> I just like his tone with that line. <laughs> Shall we record the actions Jerk. we've taken so far? No, I think we're good, but we're going to need to try that one again. But I did want to unlock the bad ending, though, there at the very least. Okay, so let's go up and talk to Rash again, and well, let's see if things go better this time, if he... Chases after her. Oh, I can't even skip this. I just gotta fast forward, huh? What's okay, now I can skip back to the decision. Okay. You go after her! I understand you're in a difficult position. But she might not have heard everything just now. You should go after her and tell her. Yeah, she might have only heard the parts that actually mattered. And then you need to ask how she feels about you. Don't. You two already know? You're avoiding Sonya because you're afraid of rejection. Don't you feel sorry for her? Well, she's a doctor. You're right. And even if she turns me down, it won't get any worse, huh? <laughs> no, of course not. Now you're just talking crazy. I owe you one, Stock. Oh. Yay, happy music. I should let Mies know about this, too. Let's see. So, yeah, in order to talk to Mies, though, you have to go back to where we got the side quest, actually. Okay, so before going back there, though, let's see. Okay, we got that engineering recruit side quest, so we need to go back to Alma Mine here. Yeah, unfortunately, this is the only point in the game where we can actually get into all the mines. So just keep on skipping everything. And if you recall, there was, well, an engineer here who was getting ready to leave. This guy. Oh. I've got a way for you. Are you Berman? <laughs> How's it going? I thought Tarkin was the bomber man. I'm with the military. The Alistel army wants to acquire your services. What do you say? Oh. Hey! Oh, yeah, it's a JRPG. We blow stuff up all the time. Oh, yeah, that would be me. <laughs> No, not really. It makes me frightened. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to end up like me, viewers. Holy cow. Hey, hey. Well, there was only one time we could do that. Well, when you're rich, you're not crazy. You're eccentric. But all right, got that taken care of. And we just go back to, well, whatever the present is for us now. Fortunately, we don't need to go back to the beginning of chapter one. We can, in this version of the game, we got this node that is much quicker to get back to where we were going to advance the plot. 
Okay, so let's see. We got the secretary. Oh, thank you very much. How's it going? Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's right. This is your reward. But all right, more money. Never have enough of that. I'll be counting on you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, remember her from later viewers. There's gonna be more side quests that we get from her eventually. And let's see, we gotta talk to Mies here to finish that side quest. I beg your pardon. Aww. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Wouldn't the problem have never existed to begin with? We get an upgraded spear for Raj. I'll be counting on you. Oh, yeah, I'll be around. The only problem with that spear. Oh, I can't. Can I access? Yeah, I can't access fast. Okay. Yeah, the only problem with the spear is that it reduces his speed, which is already a problem for him. But his speed is already so low to begin with that. You might as well just give it to him. It's not going to hurt him that much right now. And I don't want to spend money on an actual stronger spear for him. So we'll just leave that as is. Speaking of which, let's see. Let's get rid of those charms there. Start mixing things up a little bit there. Let's see. You can go back on your brigandine. And yeah, Rainy's going to be my weakest character right now so i got the heaviest armor on her and yeah i think that'll be good enough there for rush i'm not really counting on rush for a whole lot as far as uh, contributing but i do want him in my active party okay so after the checkup with sonya and everything we got we're back with rush and we need to talk to lieutenant general raul reporting in sir Hey, how's it going? Ah, Captain Rush and Sergeant Stark, was it? My sergeant or lieutenant? Or should I say Major Rush and Lieutenant Stark? Oh, right, yeah, I was gonna... Well, I did say. General Hugo. Thanks for the quick promotions. The young lion of the Alistel Army. Your success at Alma Mine is held in high regard, even amongst the citizens. Oh, huh? yeah, so it is. I'd hope to meet you in person, and now I see you do have the look of a loyal warrior. I can tell because of the red clothing you guys got. Your praise is more than I deserve. Yeah, Stock did all the heavy lifting. At this rate, perhaps you will even be granted an audience with the Prophet Noah. Hey, sounds like a good idea. I shall continue to expect great things from you. Well then. Please excuse me. And don't expect too much from me. Lieutenant General Raoul, I leave the rest to you. I don't want to have to go into another battle with no equipment. Yes, sir. Doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. But all right. Sorry about that. And Stock, it's been a while. Oh? Um, has it? I only saw you a few times while you were a military man. But I must say... You look even more capable now than you used to. Thanks? It's quite reassuring that you've accepted this position in Rosh's brigade. When I think back on it, you may have even... Ahem, <clears throat> uh, Lieutenant General. You brought us here for a reason? Ah, uh, sorry. I do have a habit of getting long-winded. Let's get back to the mission at hand. What mission? So with specific regard to your brigade, First, you'll pass through Lasville Hills to reach the Judgment Cliffs. Again? There, you will rendezvous with an informant who will have your next set of orders. Oh, right. Uh, different timeline. So our true destination will not be known, even to us. Ever since the enemy breached Alma Mine, the grass has been on edge about spies. Well, yeah, that is true. For operations that cross the border, they don't want specifics floating around. Understood. We'll prepare the men as soon as possible. 
Rush. Yes, sir. Well, how should I put this? Make sure that you're keenly aware of your actions from now on. What do you mean? <laughs> sir, why the sudden concern? That's General Hugo. It bothers me that he took the trouble to come see you. Isn't that good for us? I only say this because it's you. But did you know he used to be a politician? He isn't anymore? I know that his duty to convey the Prophet's word and the war are what made him a general. Well, consider this simply the ramblings of an older soldier. But do you know how the citizens are referring to you now? With great praise? The young lions of Alistel. There was another who earned that kind of praise from the public. Even to this day, she's well liked amongst the soldiers. You mean Field Marshal Viola, the Valkyrie? Her charisma is well beyond ours. Well, yours at the very least. Well, yeah, both of ours. Probably. She is truly Alistel's goddess of victory. But I believe you are well aware of where this Valkyrie currently is and what she's doing. We do? Or to be blunt, where she was put because she was garnering more favor than General Hugo. Hmm. She's been deployed to the Sand Fortress for a long time now. So what does it have to do with us? You might say she was gotten rid of. I thought that was an important post. But there's something I don't understand. Wasn't it General Hugo himself who promoted her to Field Marshal? Ah, but that's where you see Hugo shine as a politician. By promoting her, he tied her down to the front lines at the Sand Fortress, thereby removing her from the castle and securing his own fame. Shouldn't the people still know about her victories anyway? If you ask me, the war is on its last legs. Already? What's more, you two are working hard to make that a reality. That is why I have this advice for the two of you. Fight well, but try to keep the post-war in perspective. The end of a war is never truly the end, but the beginning of something else. I believe that will be the time for you both to demonstrate your true strength. Uh, okay, I guess I'll keep that in mind. Ah, but I shouldn't speak in riddles. I'll say it to you plainly. You two have endless potential. Please be careful that he doesn't crush that potential. Um, I think you're just being paranoid. He seems like a nice guy to me. You give me too much credit. I'm really not that impressive. I'm just rambling, remember? I, I don't know anything. I, not really. I, I, I'm just guessing. Anyway, coming back safely is your first task. That's all I need to tell you. Get ready to move out immediately. Understood. Our brigade will pass through Lasville Hills and advance to the Judgment Cliffs. Stock. We'll need to get ready. Let's gather the men. Sounds like a plan. The rendezvous point is set. Each leader will escort their squad to the Judgment Cliffs. Those hills are infested with monsters, so be prepared for anything. Yeah, at least we got more men than we did last time, I think. All mobilized squads, move out! Yeah! Hooray! Kill. Yes, Captain. Aren't you going with your squad? You're with us. I'll make sure you get some training in along the way. Thank you, sir. Ready to go? You're not actually going to be in our party, but you'll just be tagging along, I guess. Yeah. All right, let's get this show on the road. Okay, so now we got Rosh back in our active party there, so let's bring him up there and let's get out of here and head to the Judgment Cliffs, or well, we gotta go to Lansville Hills first. And there's gonna be some new enemies there. Let's see, how are we doing here? Okay, yeah, we're not quite at a high enough level to learn a particular spell I'm looking for, for Rainy. The Judgment Cliffs are to the southwest. We can afford a steady pace, though. No need to be the first ones there. Just make sure you keep up with us, Keel. Yes, sir.
Well. Okay, careful. Yeah, these guys can be a little fast. But alright, okay, so we got... Let's see, Rippers here, they are weak to Fire and Ice. And the Searchers there, they are weak to, well, Ice and Lightning there. So, let's see, I think I can get them all. Yeah, it'll be a little tricky, but nothing we can't handle. Actually, you know what, let's do it like this. Get everyone in, let me see, the Rippers. Yeah, let's do it like this. Let's go fire, then another push assault, and then thunder. I think that'll get them all. Unfortunately, since we don't have grapple, we can't... We couldn't have done that in one large combo. But we did get frost for Rainy. All right. I thought it was level 10, but now I'm thinking of something else, I guess. And here we got another new enemy. Let's see. Hush Mushroom. Those guys, let's see. They are weak to fire. So we want to take advantage of that. Hmm. Okay, well, Bush Lizards are weak to ice, but we've seen them before. Let's see. The problem is that Rosh can't move anything on his own there. Hmm. Ah, I got an idea. Okay, yeah, let's just go like this. Oop, no, get a push assault there. And let's see. And you can do it either way, whatever. Yeah, we don't need fire. The hush mushrooms are pretty easy for us to kill. Let's see, that either hits a row or a column of enemies. I forget. Whoa! Ugh, what a pain. But I suppose I can uh, check that out. Whoa! Come on. Hmm. Let's see. I think I can take out the three of them up front there. But yeah, these are the. Which ones are the, the searchers? There. Reminds me of a really old movie, if I recall correctly. Huh. A lot of these enemies have some status uh, weaknesses as well, but nothing we really need to take advantage of yet. Eventually, we will get on with using status ailments during battles, but uh, not right now. Not right now. Hmm. Do you have anything new? I don't think you sell anything new, but I can check it out. Well, there's first aid kits. I could use some of those eventually, but not right now. I want to save my money for other things. Yeah, we got mushrooms that'll just jump out of the ground and come right after you. But alright. Oh, okay, the save point's gone. Okay, we can just keep on going over here then. Let's see, I, I think we're we're at the place that we were looking for then. But where is our mission or our next mission gonna be taking us? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!